just a few blocks away from the Capitol Dome here in Washington, D.C. as MLB The Show is on hand to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, a couple of National League Eastern Division teams get ready to face off as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Washington Nationals. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler are by my side. And Dave, we turn to you. What's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, Matt, right off the bat, the thing that leaps out at me is our pitching matchup. We've got two of the best in the business, and it's going to be interesting to see who gets the upper hand. All right, Dave and Huddle join us shortly, but let's get to our New Era Caps starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins align like this. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Scott Pitsednik, that second, he'll be in center. Jeremy Hermida follows him out in right. Then comes the left fielder, Josh Willingham. Jorge Cantu is the number five hitter. He's at first base. Jose Castillo is in the sixth hole. He plays third. Matt Trainer is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Alfredo Omezaga bats eighth at second base. Ricky Nolasco will be on the mound for the Marlins and bat number nine. They'll be opposed by the veteran right-hander John Patterson. Patterson at 6'6", 210 pounds, began last year as the Nationals' opening day starter, but wound up making only seven starts before elbow and bicep soreness put him on the shelf for the balance of the season. His health will be a very big story around here in 2008. And defensively, here's how Washington will take the field behind him. Standing in is Hanley Ramirez as we are ready to get this one going. And underway here this evening as the first pitch is hit in the air out to right. Dukes is there to put it away and Ramirez is kept off base to start the ball game. So one gone in the inning, and that brings up Scott Pudsednik. Here's the first offering. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. One out, nobody on. up in the zone a bit but a called strike 0-2 uh what are you waiting for amigo and a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off Ready with another 0-2. And he looks at a ball, 1-2. and two. And now that he's established speed away, let's see what he turns to here. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. Throw over to Johnson, gets him, two gone. Well, it would appear he's brought his good stuff to the mound as he sets down the first couple of guys here in the game. Jeremy Hermida will take his cuts now. And he takes ball one. Boy, and already here in the top of the first, we're getting a sense that he's going to have a tight strike zone behind the dish. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Hermita awaits the one one. Outside, two and one. Okay. 
taken. Strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Not a bad idea to work him up and in here with that hard stuff. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. He'll leave that one alone. Now the three and two pitch. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box, a foul ball. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. So a runner at first with two away, and striding forth, the left fielder, Josh Willingham. This is taken for a ball low, I guess, but I think Old Blue might need an eye exam. It's 1-0. Oh. And I think he just got a gift call right there to begin the at-bat. That should have been a strike. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. That ball foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And a swing and a miss strike three, but now the ball gets away. But the catcher will simply apply the tag as the batter hadn't gotten far, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ballgame. And the starting lineup for the Nationals reads as follows. Felipe Lopez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Garrett Anderson bats second in left field. Following him is Nick Johnson. He'll be over at first base. And after that, the young power hitter Elijah Dukes. The second baseman Ronnie Belliard will follow him. Then comes Paul LaDuca. He'll, of course, be behind the plate. Next, the fine young third baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. Lastings Millage bats eighth and plays center. And doing the pitching, John Patterson. He bats number nine. Ricky Nolasco gets the ball to face them. And I think the one key will be how aggressive he is on the mound. He's got to get the ball and go right after hitters because he can get into trouble when he nitpicks and falls behind. And in the field, Louisville Slugger shows us that the Marlins will align themselves like this. Felipe Lopez will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. That ball foul. And now a pitch on the way. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Swing and a line drive to center field. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Oh, man. 
This will be a leadoff single, but this ball just about took the pitcher with it into center field. Heads up out there. Garrett Anderson will be the batter. Check on Lopez. Now the pitch. Low for ball one. Oh, that looked on the outside corner to me, but I'm only a broadcaster. It's 2-0. Oh, I don't know about that one. Looked to me like we should be 1-1 one one right now. Ball three. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. Now the 3-0 and offering. And he'll just make him throw one over here, 3-1. and And he might be well advised to be very selective on this one. And he'll throw over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. Fastball in there, three and two. Ooh, and that one pretty much just burns off the outside edge. Nobody out, runner on first. Full count pitch on its way. And he misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Nick Johnson digs in at the plate. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Matt, that's what you call a good yacker. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Yeah, it looked like a pretty good curveball there, but he did not get the call. And a foul ball straight back. He'll try again, one, two. Oh, a good curveball gets him swinging for route number one. Big strike out there after allowing the first two batters in the game to reach base. Now he maybe even could shoot for a ground ball and get out of the inning on skate. Elijah Dukes will get his first cuts here. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Working the inside corner with the fastball. Let's see if they stay right there. Softly to third. This could be two. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone. And stepping in is the second baseman, Ronnie Belliard. Fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Sometimes when a guy's under duress, he'll grip that fastball a little tighter. And that can make it run into the right-handed hitters. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Two runs of score. Well, you can't 
Can't fault the pitch location here. Have a look. They know he has trouble with the ball down, but he beats them at their own game. That's just good hitting. Runners on the corners now with one man gone. And in steps a good hitter in Paul LaDuca. Now the first pitch. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. And a fastball taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Hermida is there. Let's see if they test it. And safe at the plate as he just gets in ahead of the tag. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And digging in is the young third baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Boy, and this already has the makings of a very short outing. And 2-0 now as this misses below the knees. And it looks like home plate's starting to move around on him pretty good here. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. Good zip to that one. Gets that one in on him before he can get his hands through. Two and two. And there was a good breaking ball. Might have caught him off guard a bit that time. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and he popped him up. Over in foul territory back behind third. Oh, and he misses it. This one's in the dirt. Three runs already home here. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Second inning upcoming from our nation's capital. The Nationals are out in front here, three to nothing. Jorge Cantu leads things off now in the top half of the second. Now here it comes. And this will be fouled away. And no contact there from Cantu as the count moves to 0-2 on him now. Another one. Back-to-back -back breakers. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. Oh, and he boots it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Jose Castillo will get his first opportunity now. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One one. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball called strike. One and two. Maddie's living dangerously by working his fastball up in the zone like that. Fouled back. 
that's a foul ball. In the air now to straightaway right field. Dukes is there, two down. Matt Trainer will be the batter. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Right there is Belliard. Throw on to Johnson will be in time, and with it, the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. Nationals on top, three to nothing. Lastings Millage will start things off in the bottom of the second. Too low, 1 0. <laughs> Swinging a ball line softly down the line in right, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. Well hit, out to straightaway center field. And he makes the catch on the move as he's able to hang with this one for the first out. John Patterson will take his first cut to the ball game here. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Trying to lock him up there with a fastball. That's a good spot to miss. A strike and it's two and one. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Too high, ball three. And too many three-ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. Full count offering on its way. And the fastball here is hit on the ground, but foul. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Well, we'll see what he's looking for on the 3-2 pitch. That almost certainly would have been a strike anyway, but he just couldn't make contact here. Felipe Lopez will stride in again singled and later scored his first time. And here's the first pitch. Good zip to the fastball there by Nolasco and it's nothing in one. And sometimes when you're a leadoff hitter, go ahead and take a pitch. Let your pitcher catch his breath for a second. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there. Now Lopez is in an 0-2 hole. Ah, uh, got to keep the horse in the starting gate there, pal. Wait for that to come to you. Yeah. 
down the line, but this is a foul ball. Pitch is piling up, 44, and he's not clear of the second yet. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time, ball one. Now the pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Nothing across here this half. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Nationals lead it three to nothing. Alfredo Omezaga is ready to go here as we begin the third. Pretty well out toward right center field. And he's going to get there to make a fine running catch. And there's your first out of the inning. Ricky Nolasco will stand in for the first time here. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Now the pitch. Using the fastball exclusively here, it's 0-2. Good start to the inning here. Three pitches have got him an out and an 0-2 count. Sharply but foul down the line at third. And he misses there, one and two. And this thing starts out a strike. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. Got to look to try and slap that thing the other way. Two-two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Back to the top of the order now. And at the plate is the young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. Too high with the fastball here. It's 1-0. and oh. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Here's the 1-0. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Three and O. Oh. Showing real good patience there at the plate. That one's in there, three and one. And when things are going bad, it seems like these calls always go against you. Line hard. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Payoff pitch one more time. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. So a runner at first with two away, and here comes a speed threat in the person of Scott Podsednik. And 
And this ball will be chopped foul. No, foul ball. There goes Hanley for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's not going to be in time as Ramirez has himself a stolen base. This is what having good speed will do for you. He gets the green light and there's no way they're going to throw him out. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. He's set, now the pitch. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Nationals are out in front here, three to nothing. Garrett Anderson makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. And, and that's a confident pitcher that can start in at bat with a changeup. Here it comes. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One and one. fastball but he's able to hold off on it and it's two and one now and a foul ball straight back Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Foul ball. Ready with another 2-2. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Grounded, foul. Now a fastball is hit on the ground towards second. And the Mezegas throw is right there for the first out. One away now for the left-handed hitting Nick Johnson. That's high for a ball, 1-0. One out, nobody on. And he falls behind now, 2-0. And the changeup low is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. You just want to crush that thing. Two and one now. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Got away with that one there, but he's going to continue to struggle if he keeps leaving pitches in the center of the plate. Here's the two and two offering. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And 
and he lays off the curveball, so it's a full count now. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. The 3-2 one more time. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. So a runner at first with one man gone, and that will bring forth the young slugger Elijah Deuce. And a curveball in for a strike. Nah, you don't want that one. Let him bring you something straighter. He waits. Now the pitch. And a curveball gets away, and this ought to be a pass ball. And that'll move the runner up to second as it takes away the double play possibility. Just pulled the string a little too much there as it bounces up and gets away towards the backstop. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Hermida is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. But it's way late, and he's in there. Ronnie Belliard will step in with a couple of RBIs already and looking for more. And this is on the ground to third. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. One left for Washington, but they lead it 3-0. Jeremy Hermida will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now here's the first pitch. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Foul back. That misses one and two. Oh, and how disciplined do you have to be to lay off that pitch on 0 and 2? And that swung on and fouled straight back. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. And here's a curveball. Look at strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Josh Willingham will dig in here. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. Jorge Cantu will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1.
in there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Matt with a few pitches to play with, figure him to waste a pitch or two. Hard hit towards center. Millage is there now, and he has it, two gone. Jose Castillo will try it again. He flew out his first time. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. A runner on first with two away. Fastball is hit on the ground towards short. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Washington leads this one three to nothing. Paul LaDuca will dig in. He drove in a run with a sacrifice fly his first time. Fastball here too low, and it's 1-0. Yeah, tough to elevate on a fastball down there. That's a good spot to miss. The next pitch. Late on the fastball, though, as this one skied out towards straightaway right. Hermida is there to put it away for route number one. Ryan Zimmerman will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. And a foul ball straight back. And here's a fastball called for strike two. Precision right there. Deadly precision. job of holding up on the low ball there and it's one and two. Oh, almost got him to commit but he wisely laid back and he struck him out second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes and I'll tell you what with the eighth place hitter due up you love to get a one two three here and force that pitcher to lead off the following inning Lasting's Millage will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. And this is a guy you want because you'd love to have the pitcher leading off in the bottom of the fifth. Hit hard to the right. Well, that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Matt Trainer will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth.
and he looked like he lost his release point on that fastball. It's 1-0. and oh. One zero pitch now. In there, one and one. Just a perfect spot for that fastball. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. And this pitch is taken outside, I suppose. Hmm, three and one. Boy, pretty close right there. That's a strike in my book. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And a flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Alfredo Omezaga will dig in now. Switch hitter batting left. Swing and a high pop-up toward the stands behind third. Zimmerman is over now and he's got it for route number two. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Ricky Nolasco will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Foul! Two out, nobody on. Now here's the pitch. Having success with the fastball here, it's 0-2 now. And when you got to pitch your 0-2, I think I'd try to make him chase something here. Slider, ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. Ball two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Three two pitch. And it misses ball four. And he's just committed the cardinal sin there, Dave, of walking the opposing pitcher. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. Base on balls his last time. In there for strike one. Pause. Now the pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And a waste pitch there, one and two. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it, so be careful. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. And this is going to get under his glove, and that'll be scored as an infield single. Well, and this lead could be in jeopardy as there are now two men on base, and he's working himself into trouble here. Scott Pudsednik will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Good 
Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. And he's been effective all night long with that first pitch curveball. Two down, runners at first and second. And low that time, but good reactions behind the plate to keep it in front of him. Hold strike on the outside corner as that zone seems to widen some. It's one and two. Man, that might be a hometown discount right there. Fouled back. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. And I think you've got to throw a strike here because you do not want to go three and two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. And now those runners ought to get a good start here, three and two. Seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. He'll try it again, three and two. Now a ball lined softly down the left field line. But this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again, three and two. Swing and a ground ball to first. And an easy play for Johnson over at first, and that ends the inning. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Nationals lead it three to nothing. John Patterson will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch swinging as this one's hit on the ground to second. And the Mezigas throw is right there for the first out. One gone for the Nationals in the fifth. And here's the shortstop, Felipe Lopez. And that misses for ball one. Hit hard toward first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. And this has just proven you don't always have to strike guys out to be successful. Good change of pace there, and he gets the first two outs on just three pitches. Garrett Anderson will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Grounded foul. Here's one hit towards the hole. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So they go down without a whimper here. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Nationals are out in front here, three to nothing. And before the Marlins take their turn here in the sixth inning, let's take a moment to check their in-game box score through five innings. It's presented by Upper Deck. Jeremy Hermida will stand in, called out on strikes his last time.
first pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. The pitch. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Josh Willingham will step in. One for two in the ball game. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Pitch on the way. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. <laughs> on a great pitch there as that completely locked him up, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Doesn't matter how hard you throw it, a well-placed heater is still the best pitch in baseball. And look where this thing is, right on the inside corner. That's a tough pitch. And so two are gone now for Jorge Cantu. Taken outside for ball one. The 1 0 pitch. Swung on and missed. 1 and 1. Hitting his spots with a fastball now. Got him to swing right through it. Pretty good ride down the left field line. And no one will get this one. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Florida down in order. They trail it here three to nothing. And before we get to the Nationals here in the bottom of the sixth inning, let's take another look at our in-game box score. And a new pitcher making his way toward the mound. It's the hard-throwing right-hander, Matt Lindstrom. Nick Johnson will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. And he runs that one high and tight for ball one. In his first pitch of the game, 98 miles an hour? Wow, that's fast. Right back with a fastball, and that evens the count at one and one. Here's the one-one pitch. And this ball's pulled on the ground down the line to first. Elijah Dukes will step in, one for two in the ballgame. <laughs> Swing.
swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. He's ready. Now the pitch. Fouled back. That ball's foul. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Ronnie Belliard will step in. One for two in the ballgame. As a look, now the pitch. And a ball, 1-0. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Hermida is right there as he takes it for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And here's the veteran catcher, Paul LaDuca. center field on the run and he has it to retire the side so it's no runs on a hit no errors and a man left seventh inning coming up Washington leads this one three to nothing Jose Castillo will step in a ground out victim his last time And that's in there for strike one. And now you just got to worry about getting on base. That tying run still in the hole. Down and away, ball one. Oh, and he's just had that pitch dancing all night long. One one pitch on the way. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Boy, this umpire is expanding the strike zone in every conceivable direction. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Now the three and two pitch. Line down the left field line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Elbow. Payoff pitch one more time. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And they take him out of the zone here and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Chris Schroeder will be the new pitcher. Matt Trainer will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And the Marlins just need to get somebody on base here to get things going. And here's the ball out towards 
straight away center field. Millage is there, two gone. Alfredo Omezaga will take his cuts now. First pitch to him. Lays off 1-0. He's got to find a way to get on any way he can. Goes the other way with a fastball, and this is in the air out to left. And this is tracked down on the run, and with that, the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. It's stretch time here in our nation's capital. Nationals on top, three to nothing. Ryan Zimmerman will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. And these guys have been very patient with that slider away. They have not chased very often. Here's the 1-0. Mm, couldn't get his hands through there, and it's 1-1. One one. Pretty tough duty trying to get around on that pitch. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Oh, boy. Time to choke up to the label. Anything to avoid another punch out. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. The two two coming. Too high. Ball three. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. And this pitch is popped straight up, right around the home plate area. And there's out number one. Lasting's Millage will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first offering. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. At least take the bat off your shoulder, meat. And a fastball swung on and hit in the air to left. There to play it is Willingham, and he has it for route number two. Chris Schroeder will be the batter. First pitch coming. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. And gosh, this is still a pretty close ball game. Why are they leaving the reliever in here to hit? Ball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. Good action on that two seam fastball. That started off the plate and moved all the way over. On the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. And 
And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Eighth inning coming up. The Nationals lead it three to nothing. Dan Ugla is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. And I don't know if this is really the spot to use him off the bench. He's a home run hitter, but he's hitting with no one on. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. And just eyeballing it from up here, he doesn't have the look of a guy that's totally warm yet. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Got his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind, 2-1. And, and he'll be effective if he can keep that fastball down there. Fastball for a strike, and from 2-0, and oh, it's back to 2-2. Two and two. Heck, may as well keep putting down that fastball sign till somebody catches up. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside, 3-2. and two. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Here's the full count offering. Swing and a miss, so the pinch hitter is retired. A couple of good pitching performances by both clubs here. Three nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. So a call to the bullpen now, and they'll make a move for the left-hander here. Hanley Ramirez will step in now. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. And if you're going to miss with a fastball, that's the spot to do it. ground toward the hole and this will get through into right and he's aboard with a one-out single Scott Pudsednik will try again 0 for 3 thus far lefty versus lefty and the first pitch misses for ball one yeah, looking to run that thing back to the low inside corner, but that's not one guys will chase very often. One oh on the way. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. And that's a pitch that's tough to turn around. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Now a move over to first, and a dive, but he's back. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. Laduca has a bead on it, and he's got it two down. Jeremy Hermida will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. And 
and a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line but back into the crowd foul. And a good job to lay off the fastball there close but it's one and one. Yeah trying to run that thing in on the hands. Good eye. Two out with the man at first. Now the 1-1. One, one. In for a strike and he jumps ahead 1-2 and two now. And it's obvious they want to make him go down and get something because the last three have been down around the knees. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Washington leads this one three to nothing. New pitcher to tell you about, and it's a guy drafted number six overall out of North Carolina in 2006, the six foot six inch lefty Andrew Miller. Felipe Lopez will stride in, rounded out his last time through. And that swung on and fouled straight back. And now a pitch on the way. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. And that's on the outside corner. One and two. Toughest location for a hitter right there. I'd take that too. And a foul ball straight foul back. Ball. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And the Mezzegas throw is right there for the first out. Well, you've got one job to do on the mound right now. Do not let this deficit get any wider than three. So that's a good job to set down that leadoff man right there. Garrett Anderson will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Way off balance hack that time. Good for the first strike. Now the pitch. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. And a fine play there as he's able to corral this one on the move for the second out. Nick Johnson will get another crack, one for three thus far. Fastball in there for a called strike. Boy, and that is just the definition of hitting your spots. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And the pitch. Fouled back. That ball's fouled. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Ninth inning coming up. The Nationals are out in front here, three to nothing. On to try and save this one now, the straight build cap of the closer, all-star Chad Cordero. Josh Willingham will get another crack, one for three thus far.
Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. Still no home runs in the ball game on either side of the scorecard. In for a strike, it's one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Now here it comes. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Yeah, almost strike three, but I don't think he broke the wrist, so that's a good call. Ball three. Three and two now. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. And that's a lonely feeling walking back to the dugout, let me tell you. Jorge Cantu will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Can't lay off now, down 0-2. Gotta open up that zone a little bit and protect. One out, nobody on. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. and two. Late swing as this is laced down the line. Pace hit. Jose Castillo will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Set by Cordero and now the pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Hits are now even at four apiece. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. And now if he can get on, he's got a chance to make this interesting. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. In the air, left field. Long run, but he tracks this one down out there for the second out. Nice play. Two men gone here, but still one big out remains between him and the save. 
Matt Trainer to stand in as their last chance now. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. And he's working on save number 29 if he can hold on to this lead. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Dukes is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. And good work out of the bullpen there for Cordero as he works a scoreless night to pick up the save. So the Nationals put forth a good effort as they are victorious here. And Dave, let's go to check out our New Era Cap heads up play of the game. Yeah, Matt, this one came back in the very first inning. It was just a single and didn't seem like much at the time, but it got him going here and put him on an early track to victory. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Well, Matt, he got him through six and the third good innings, and that was enough to put his team in good position to win the game. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, Washington is victorious in this one, 3 to nothing. This has been a presentation of MLB 08 The Show. For more, log on to MLB08.com. Good night, everybody.